Hi viewers, I thought I'd do this review on an unusual one ounce silver coin. Um, now I've had these ones several years and uh, it was actually a, a small series so it isn't just one coin I'm going to do the review on. But uh, there were several things interesting about this series. This is the um, Andean Cat. And uh, one of the things uh, interesting is they were from Bolivia. And they were struck in five nines fine. As you can see, nice detail there and highly, highly reflective. Um, anyway, they, the Royal Silver Company that produced them uh, were using a, um, a process, a hydrometallurgic method to extract the silver from the ore. I think it was called Ar Argox, Ar Argox or something, something like that. And um, anyway, they used a uh, like a secret process to manage to refine it to five nines fine. Um, now I think, uh, I don't, I'm not sure whether RCM are doing five nines fine now. I think they do five nines gold. I'm not sure about the silver. But obviously back ten years ago it was kind of, that purity was unheard of. Obviously as you can see, highly, highly reflective. Now there was only five coins in the series. There was the Andean Cat. Uh, this one, which is the 10 dirham. Uh, there was a um, snake. Oh yeah, there was an anaconda. That's right, anaconda. Uh, there was a monkey. What else was there? That is five, isn't it? The macaw, the anaconda, the monkey, the tin dirham, and, uh, and the Andean cat. Yeah, that was all of them. I've only got two. <laughs> I always wanted the macaw, but never got around to getting one. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyway, um, what I think, what I remember was that uh, part of the proceeds from the sales actually went towards, um, you know, the protection of the uh, the wildlife species. Obviously, uh, that wasn't the wildlife, but the others in the series were and I think a percentage of sales went towards uh, um, you know helping prevent those species go extinct anyway keep your eyes out for those they obviously pop up on the secondary market now and again I'm not sure if the Royal Silver Company is still in business but um, anyway I hope you enjoyed seeing those two and I'll catch you all on the next one thanks for watching